hi guys today we're going to discuss when you can trade forex there are different forex trading sessions market is open 24 hours five days a week that's monday to friday but that does not mean it's active all the time but of course you can make money when it moves up you can make money when it moves down but when it's ranging that's when market is moving sideways it's hard to make money these are the times that you want to stay out of the market an example of those time would be around this area if you look at this area market wasn't doing much if you look at this area market wasn't doing much these are called ranging because the market is not doing much if you're looking at it at a smaller time frame you even see deeper how market was not doing much around this time the times that you want to be trading in the market will be around these areas when market are making big candles that means there is volume in the market there is something that's moving the markets so these are the easier times that you can make money you can also make money when it's dropping only that i don't have the example right now but you can also make money when it's dropping the next thing we're going to discuss is forex market hours for us to know the best times to trade we must look at what a 24 hour day in the market would look like we will break it down into three major sessions that would be asian london and new york so i'm going to write it down sessions we have asian we have asian london and new york all right those are our three major sessions if you want to include Sydney, then we could say asian starts at 11 pm then hong kong opens at 2 am that's when the volume in the liquidity for asian comes in but i would there's nothing much that happens from 11 p.m. until 2 p.m. because there's only Sydney market that's open and not a lot of people are in the market at that time since it's like the middle of the night. So I would suggest someone not to be in the markets at that time. So after Asian session, we have Frankfurt at 8 a.m. That's when Asian closes. So Frankfurt opens at 8 a.m. Frankfurt is part of London session, but the big London session market opens at 9 a.m. That's when London completely opens. So if you want to look at it deeper, you could say the same thing that happens with Sydney and Asian session is the same thing, same thing that you can look at Frankfurt and London session. And then after London session, we have New York, opening at 2 p.m. So let's just add the times on our notes. So I would say 2 a.m. And then London, I would say 9 a.m. And then New York, it's 2 p.m. So those are our times. Then when New York opens, London will still be open for another three hours. And this is called overlapping. So we have overlapping when two sessions are open at the same time. When there is daylight savings, right, and the market opening times shift for an hour, Asian session and London session will overlap for the last hour of Asian session. So London session will open an hour before Asian session closes. And when the markets are open at the same time in the market, there is more volume in the market and there is some of the best times to trade in the, in, in, in the market because this is when a lot of people from different continents, not even looking at us, only retail trader, but big companies from major big companies are all open at the same time. This produces more people placing orders, more people dealings. This gives us more liquidity for us small traders to have a chance to play or get some dollars in the market. So that's, those are the important things that we need to know. So the next thing that we're going to discuss will be when you can trade the Tokyo or Asian session. So Asian session, you can also call it Tokyo session. The same thing, New York session, you can also call it US session, London session, European session, things like that. So Asian session fully opens at 
2 a.m. in the morning. This is when liquidity comes into the market because Sydney was only on on its time. So now we have liquidity coming in, but sometimes it's very low. Asian session normally does not have much movement happening. This is, a, is, this is an actual example of Asian session. This area right here, this was an Asian session market. As you can see, nothing happened. So there are times when markets are like this during Asian session. All right. So it's best to trade pairs with yen, odd, and New Zealand dollar at this time of the market because those are actually the markets that are on at the time if you want to trade pound around that time it's not going to move as much you need something that yes the currency that's on at the time for you to actually make money or for you to trade easy without having to stress as much so most of the time price tends to range which is good which is a good thing because this provides breakout opportunities later in the day. So if a market ranges, we get these breakout opportunities similar to this during London session or sometimes during New York session. So you want Asian to range because if Asian trends, when we say trend, that's when markets does, does these big moves. If Asian is to do these big moves, right, then it's people who have taken their profits right when it ends so what's left is for market to range similar to this so we have price trending right and then after people go out around this area we have market moving sideways so this would be a range that means people were in the market people, market was trending and then it had to range because that session was done trading for that time those people who were concentrating on the markets are gone so the next thing we're going to discuss is london session london session is a great time to trade as it is trading activity open overlaps with as it's trading <laughs> activity overlaps with that of the asian and new york so like i said earlier on when when london opens it's going to overlap with asian when there's daylight savings if not there is still some liquidity as some people are getting out and some people are getting in so if market were going higher it could drop as people get out of their profits so you as as since you're a retail trader you can make money as market moves up and as market moves down so it provides opportunities for you all right london session is high liquidity and very low spreads at times especially if there are a lot of people in the market market will have low spreads and that's what you want all right it also has high vol volatility especially on the days with a lot of high impact news however some days in the middle of the day it can be slow especially towards lunch times in new york opening so you want to trade early in the morning the first two hours when london opens that's why i always tell people you should be in the market the moment london opens until the first four hour candle of london opening closes then you chill for a bit until new york comes in then the overlapping of london and new york will provide some good opportunities for you as there will be more people in the market so around this time you can trade almost any pay because there is fortality there's a lot of people there's but i would suggest concentrating on pound in europe pairs because those are the main markets or those are the main currents of the european or financial situation so let's say asian asian time so you should trade yen odd and nzd pairs and then london i'm going to say pound ebp and euro right and then the next thing that we're going to discuss is the new york session new york market opens at 2 p.m there is high liquidity for three hours when new york opens as it overlaps with london session 
so it's like what i've been explaining before liquidity and volatility tends to be two tends to be very high when two sessions are overlapping because there are two continents that are acting out there are big companies on both continents and they are both in the markets including you a retail trader come on you can get your share however it dies off during the afternoon of US session as London ends. So around 5 p.m. Um, using my time, around 5 p.m., you will see him. Um, New York getting very slow or oh, it starts to range it gets choppy there's nothing much happening that's because London has opened that means it's some liquidity some traders have gotten out of the markets and also it's now in the afternoon in the US session so people are at lunch you know different things no one is participating in the market as much right any pay can be traded at this time however I would suggest USD pairs if you're only looking at the New York session a lot of news comes out during this session and make sure that you know what you're doing if you're going to be trading news so we're going to add um we're going to add we're going to add new york no no it's i'm gonna say usd yes this is the time when people like to trade USD yen. I would suggest this is the time to trade USD yen. If you are, if you trade USD yen, I don't think it's a good pair. But if you do trade it, that is the best time to trade it. So every trader should learn when to trade and not and when not to trade. That is the most important thing that you can ever do for your trading career. It's learn when to trade and when not to trade this will require some good discipline if you're going to be a successful trader because you need to know when you can expect markets to make a big move and when not to expect markets to make big moves like right now as i'm talking to you this is not a time to be expecting markets to make big moves because it's just right before um, new york opens there's nothing much happening as you can see market has been around this area you can see with this one with this one hour candle that's printing right now nothing is happening so market i could say right now it's preparing for new york session so when new york session opens that's what will give us something that's when it will give us something that's when it will do something for us to make money so i would say i would say you're learning when to trade and when not to trade is the most important thing that you can do if you have a hard time keeping track of markets i would suggest downloading forex hours so forex hours is an app if you turn on the notification if you it will tell you or it will notify you when a session opens and when a session closes so i'll say download forex hours right and then the worst times to trade now this is important that's why it has to be said so the worst time to be trade i would say early monday morning and late friday afternoon stay away from this most people like to jump into the markets monday morning because they miss the market during the weekends never do that stay away from that and then the next thing would be holidays there can be no movement at all during holidays you will lose a lot of money trying to make trying to make a lot of money when there's no one in the markets and then major news only trade when there's major news only if you understand how to trade news i'll teach you how to trade news later but for now or as a beginner don't trade major news because you don't understand it yet and then when you have a lot in your mind when you're stressed never touch the market never so if you have a lot going on for you and you feel like Mark, you want to look at the markets, but you're not really feeling it because your emotions are not in place, stay away from the markets. Do yourself a, save, a favor, save yourself some money. All right. So the next thing would be 
when you are trying to make a lot of money quick just don't just don't it won't happen you will never make a lot of money quick in the forex market just because you want to make money quick money will come to you easily when you are relaxed when you're not expecting when you're following your rules and you're trading because you love trading not because you just want to make money understand that i think that's all for this video um download it replay it if you have any questions or if there's anything you want to add on please feel free to message me